executing a valid search warrant, FBI agents arrived in the morning to search the office. The word unprecedented was on everyone's lips. They seized business records, computers, and other documents related to possible crimes. An enraged Donald Trump denounced the FBI and the Justice Department, saying not that they had abided by the warrant issued by a federal judge, but rather that agents had broken into the office. The year was 2018, and Trump was livid about the FBI's investigation into his longtime attorney-slash-fixer, Michael Cohen. At the time, many observers, including me, assumed that the investigation would yield bushels of incriminating documents about Trump. Cohen was his personal lawyer, after all, the guy who wrote the hush money checks to porn stars and presumably had access to many of Trump's dodgy or downright illegal acts. It didn't turn out that way. But what is not open to doubt is that the Republican Party, which seemed to be flirting with post-Trumpism just a few weeks ago, has now come roaring back as an authoritarian cult. But he has changed Republicans. When the FBI searched Cohen's office, Trump was Trump. He declared that it was an attack on our country and a disgraceful situation some Fox News bobbleheads treated the story as more evidence of a conspiracy to hurt the dear leader, but most Republicans were subdued. The prevailing tone in Republican ranks was that the investigations, including Robert Mueller's, must be permitted to proceed according to the rules. Tom Tillis and Lindsey Graham, for example, teamed up with their Democratic colleagues since. Chris Coons and Cory Booker to propose the Special Counsel Independence and Integrity Act. Read more Democrats so badly want Trump to go away, but FBI's Mar-a-Lago search is helping him stay four years later. The FBI has executed another warrant, this time to Trump's office, and the Trump forces have gone berserk. Rep. Paul Gosar tweeted, I will support a complete dismantling and elimination of the Democrat brown shirts known as the FBI. This is too much for our republic to withstand. Anthony Sabatini, a Florida state representative and candidate for Congress, was prepared to dismantle the whole Federalist structure. It's time for us in the Florida legislature to sever all ties with DOJ immediately. Any FBI agent conducting law enforcement functions outside the purview of our state should be arrested upon sight that would go well. St. Josh Hawley tweeted that at a minimum, Garland must resign or be impeached. The search warrant must be published. FBI Director Christopher Wray must be removed. And the FBI reformed top to bottom rep Marjorie Taylor Greene chance. Defund the FBI Newt Gingrich suggests that the feds might have planted evidence at Mar-a-Lago. Read the Trump warrant. The search warrant for Trump's Mar-a-Lago home has been released the party that backed the blue and disdained the defund the police crowd now flips. Gingrich is channeling Johnny Cochran. Trump may be an ignoramus and a clod, but he has the capacity to turn people inside out. Rep. Kevin McCarthy, the likely next Speaker of the House, tweeted a threat to the Attorney General, telling Garland to preserve your documents and clear your calendar because when slash if Republicans take the majority, they're coming for him. Now, as a substantive matter, McCarthy's tweet is meaningless. The House of Representatives, along with the Senate, already exercises oversight authority over the Justice Department. But the importance of the tweet is not its substance, but its tone, the call for vengeance. McCarthy displays zero interest in whether Trump actually committed a crime. The clear message is, you've gone after our leader, so we're coming for you the merits of Garland's actions are irrelevant. For some in the woolly precincts of the mega right, the call to arms was literal. As Vice reported, some Trumpists were explicit, Civil War 2-0 just kicked off, one user wrote on Twitter, with another adding, one step closer to a kinetic civil war others said they were ready to take part. I already bought my ammo Steve Bannon, who was pardoned for bilking Trump supporters who thought they were building a wall, declared that we're at war and called the FBI the Gestapo Trump is a sick soul who cannot imagine a world in which people act on principle or think about the welfare of others. While in power, Trump wanted to use the FBI to punish his political opponents, lock her up, and reward his friends, go easy on Michael Flynn. He projects his own corrupt motives onto others and assumes that the FBI investigation is nothing but a democratic power grab. It would be pathetic if he had not dragged an entire political party into the fever swamps with him. This experiment in self-government requires a minimum amount of social trust to succeed.
With every tweet that spreads cynicism and lies, with every call to arms that welcomes civil conflict, Trumpist Republicans are poisoning the nation they claim so ostentatiously to love. Mona Charan is policy editor of The Bulwark and host of the Beg to Differ podcast.